that doesn't like the sound of crunching leaves under your feet. Sam. Yeah, You're sick. I'm also sick. We found something. We found some witch's jelly. Witch jelly? Yeah, we have. Wait, which jelly? Oh, witch jelly. That jelly. Oh, this jelly. So if we find some witch's peanut butter, we'll come back for the witch's jelly. <laughs> And then we can have sandwiches for dinner, Bye. which is really good sandwiches if you guys uh, didn't know. <laughs> so I found my first mushroom. Don't know what it is. Kind of slimy, slimy brown mushroom. I lost Sam. But in other news, I just found some mushrooms. I do believe this is a lactarius. Wow, this one's really cool. If you guys can see right here, this leaf must have been sitting right here. Look at that. There's a leaf print on it. Sam? I found you. Oh, I've been looking for you for like two and a half minutes. That's a long time. You know anything about lactarius? Mushrooms. If you cut them open, then milk comes out. All right, Sam has the mushroom. Yep. It's probably some kind of lactarius, but I don't know. It's white, and it seems like there aren't any good white mushrooms, like choice edible white mushrooms, except for uh, oysters. Uh, People like puffballs. That's yeah, why. I don't think this is anything that you would want to pick or eat, to be honest, but further research could prove otherwise. They have the pink ones. I don't know if people pick those, but I've looked them up and it says that it says that uh, they're like not choice. So um. This forest is actually where we found a lot of morels. So we're gonna leave now and we might go check out another forest. I have all of my mushrooms. So I have these and then I have couple bags that were just in the refrigerator. So the first thing I like to do is give them a bath and the maitakis are a little bit dry so this not only cleans them but helps them rehydrate just a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of pull them apart and then put them in the water. And this is where I'm going to discard any parts of the maitake that I don't want. So. Okay, so then when you have your clean maitake, you can just put it on a cloth and let it kind of dry a little bit. So what you need next is a cast iron skillet what, that's what I like to use. You can use any kind of pan, really. All right, so my pan is all heated up. Um, I just do it dry. I don't add any oil into it because there's so much moisture in the mushrooms. 
you prefer to have oil or seasoning, you can certainly do that. So I have this at medium heat, and this takes probably five to 10 minutes. Okay, so now I have a regular muffin tin. <clears throat> you can use the regular size or you can do the bigger ones. So I'm just going to put the mushrooms in each of the little cups. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use all of these. I don't have enough mushrooms. So you can just pack these in. Now, the reason why I use these muffin tins is because I like to be able to open the freezer bag and just grab out the right amount of mushrooms and not have to try to chisel, chisel away at a block of mushrooms, which can be kind of difficult. So this just makes it easier when you want to go ahead and use your mushrooms. Then you just want to make sure they're all in their little muffin spots. So now what you're gonna do is freeze these for I think at least three hours. You want them to be pretty solid. And then you can transfer them to a Ziploc freezer bag or you can use the vacuum seal bags, which I prefer. I actually just got a new vacuum sealer. Let me show you guys. All right, this is the vacuum sealer so it plugs into um, an outlet and then it uses these special ziploc bags it uses these food saver bags and so what you do is you put the mushrooms in here and this usually fits up about six of those pucks so like this whole um, tin and then you put it flat on the table and then there's a little circle here. You push this on there and it suctions to that circle and there must be a very tiny hole, a couple holes, I see them, and um, it just sucks the air out. The nice thing about this is it also removes any excess liquid, which I found to be really awesome because even though they, uh, the other vacuum sealer, it'll, it'll vacuum seal, it'll get all the air out, it, will, it doesn't really get out the liquid. I mean, it did kind of, but not as much as this and plus the other one broke, same brand, food, fresh saver. So this is what I'm using right now. I don't know if any of you guys use, have used it before. Um, if you have, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about it. Um, I've only used it four times, so I don't really know how it's going to be in the long run, but I just really like the idea of the Ziploc bags too, because then I can just open the bag, take one puck out, and then just seal it back up. Whereas before I'd have to cut it open and then get out my big vacuum sealer and have to seal it that way, which is kind of a pain. Um, I also like that, I think that you can reuse these. I've never done it, but I reuse like everything. Like I reuse like regular um, Ziploc bags, so I don't see why you couldn't reuse these. Anyways, um, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.